Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon. This is Brett. Hello, and this is Super Bear. <laughs> right. He can no longer wait. He's been shot. Oh well. You're dead. Oh dear, what a pity. Never mind. <laughs> but he's still waving. Anyway, before we properly get started, I would like to thank everybody that has subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done so already, I ask you to please consider subscribing as it would really, really help us out. <laughs> what? You just hit Superbear. I didn't hit Superbear. I didn't touch it. Anyway, recently I bought Brett a couple of little presents. Now, you're weird. having this for any Batman. The first life. one was a mint in box. Superman Super Coupe. Now, it was in a minting box. The box wasn't mint. There was a few uh, rips and stuff on there. But it had never been taken out of there. And it cost me £20. So, it's not a bad thing. And it comes with a Clark Kent figure as well. And then the second thing I bought him was a Superman figure, which I'll show you in a minute. But here's the car. Now... I took it out of the box and put the stickers on and this on because we actually tried doing a video where I just surprised him with it and found that these were a bit difficult to put on. So we decided we'd do this now where we'll actually just show you the car and show you what it does. So do you like this car? Yes. Right, so the idea is this is Clark Kent's car so nobody knows who's in the car. Unless he transforms the car in the middle of a street. Yeah. Brett did come up with the fact that if he was driving in traffic and suddenly had to transform into uh, Superman, if there was cars either side of him looking in, they are going to notice him changing a little bit. And also, there's a couple of other giveaways as well. Now what? Yeah, like this hubcap. Now... This thing right here. So in this... Who has this? In this phase, it just looks like a futuristic car. And it's got some details on the bottom. You think this is nice, based on an actual car? No. When have you ever seen a car that's got one seat and a load of, like, dials down the bottom? Well, why like, exactly is a the coupe, then? A coupe is a small... It, a coupe is a real kind of thing named for, like, small cars. Well, then this may be based on it, then. You find me one and I'll tell you if it is. Get Maybe up. someone can leave a comment. Now, now, the idea is... You have it in this sort of uh, way and With he's got this. these discs on here now there's three of these discs but what we've done is store two on the hubcaps and then one up in here because there's only three so it'll look odd with just three on there now what you do is Clark Kent is sat in his little seat there and when you need him to you pull back on this and everybody's now been pushed away from this car and the two wings on the side comes out this comes backwards, an exhaust comes out, and Bruce Wayne. Oh God, he Batman is not me, yeah, Bruce he? Wayne. He's not Bruce Wayne. The, the reason is we've talked about Batman too much uh, a couple of times too before many. doing this, and also Kenner has another car like this, but in black, which How is for they? Batman, which is uh, the Bruce Wayne's custom coupe and street jet. How and the only main difference is, is when you pull back on this bit. The sides come out a bit different shape and they've got missile launchers on there. Otherwise, it's pretty similar. And uh, Kenner does that a lot. They make the same sort of toy more than once. It saves on like retooling things. So you get Superman in there and then when he's finished, he disappears and turns back into Clark Kent. And everybody still knows the secret identity. Just imagine this. You know, I'm just walking down the street. I'm gonna buy some bread, maybe. To what? Bread, oh. and then all of a sudden, oh look, look at this car! I'm looking at this. Wing. <laughs> Wait, no. And then you go. This is normal. There is something that's a bit lackluster about this. Now it is supposed to be a space jet, this one. But what's lackluster about it? Can't Superman, can't Superman fly? No, Into it's space? not that. It's the fact that the discs are for firing, and. They're not actually that great. Wait, wait, wait. Where's that Batman figure we had last? Don't worry about him. Like, I found him. No. Nope. I can't reach him. That's how he fires. This. It just slides. It's very 
Um, so I meant nothing. You have to have the enemy right in front of your car, which... I got hit. You might as well just run him over. You hit the arm. Hey. It's a bit of a disappointment. Though. And I lost it. It's by Bang. your foot. It's by your foot. Right. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take the figures hey, out from frisbees. inside. You've got the stickers on the sides for the dials. Wait, wait, wait. He's going in his fist be back. And these, if you were storing them on the side, they just push onto there like that. But like I said, you can have two on that side, but only one on that side. So it looks very odd. So you just stick them in there. But this figure of Clark Kent actually came with this car. So for and this 20, figure did not. For twenty pound for something that's never been played with, it's not a bad buy. But this figure, you've got the uh, yellow bit for that. Can I have it? No. Further. <laughs> Super has made an accident. <laughs> right. Hey, okay, now Lex Luthor's gonna pick that up and shoot everything. Pass that here. Right now, this one, this is. The Superman Electro Energy Superman. Now I'll read what the box says. It says, using his unique ability to harness solar rays and convert them into a source of power, Electro Energy Superman stuns foes with a jolt from his energy burst unit, then wraps them up in his capture cape. And then... How do you what? fire this? You squeeze the two bits together. Why you got the window open there? I'll find out in a second. It's just squeeze them together. Look. <laughs> oh, okay. That didn't work. So you've got the, uh, what's it called? Electro energy unit or energy burst unit. And it's just this little yellow bit here and then one missile. So let's put it back in. You would fire that. Now the only downside of that is you only get one missile. You put it back in. Yeah. You only get one missile. So once you've lost it, well, too bad. It don't. All you've got you is go. something that looks like a, a little bit of an octopus. <laughs> and then you've got his cape, which is a plastic cape. And the idea is you pull this bit apart because it's just a little lug in there that goes into the hole. And then this is supposed to capture the enemies and wrap around them. Not a bad Wait, thing. Hey, just push it in. Yeah. Right. Look at this. Mm -hmm. That's a great way of attacking something. And all that happens with this is you pull it over his head. Damn it. And then you can have it wrapped around Superman, ready to... Uh, also, I just thought something. What? We well, know the idea is you've got Clark Kent there and Superman in the front. Here. Yeah. Well, doesn't that kind of seem like two things could happen? What? Well, imagine this. What are you doing to it? You're going to break it doing all this. What? First of all, you can clearly see there's a gap here. Right? Yeah. What about it? Well, first of all, this, this could probably get lost down there. Secondly, when Noto Superman is in there, Kind of looks like Clark Kent is sat here while he has Superman imprisoned in the front. What you're meant to do, dum dum, <laughs> is use your imagination that Clark Kent is Superman, right? So the idea of the car being able to transform is that you are pretending that that's Clark Kent and at any moment he can turn into Superman. You pull that and he's transformed into Superman. He's not keeping him prisoner. It's called using your imagination. Fill a gap, though. Explain uh, that. Don't worry about it. You're not. You're meant to ignore the gap. Right. The gap bring me. There, bring though. me the turntable, please. <laughs> now this figure. I don't know if I mentioned it. This only cost me eight pound, and it was mint in box. The only problem with it was the plastic had yellowed, but Wait. it was still in uh, mint condition. So they're not, they're not actually very expensive to collect these, and they're from the Superman animated series, or the Superman the animated show, it says on the box. What are you doing? 
He's flying, he's flying UFO <laughs> Ten tables Well it beats how you normally do it where he's sucking up <laughs> through his bum What like this? <laughs> Put it down Right Show the car off as it is and try not to drop it Spin 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 <laughs> Wait stop it You know you're not allowed to spin it You make sure it doesn't fall Just get on with it It's falling Get on it's with falling. it It's falling I put it like that so it doesn't roll It's rolling It's not Technically, it still is. Can you stop being a tart? I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. Right. I said it first. I don't. Why do you go Matters. so fast? I hope you're meant to see stuff if you do that. Right. And then. <laughs> so it transformed and stop being silly. Wait, stop spinning it. That's not your job. Just. You're not allowed to spin your own turntable. And then that's a view from the top with the uh, wings and everything on there. And then a few from the top when it's all closed up. Actually, what do the wings look like underneath? And there is some, there's some details on the wings as well. It's not bad. What then, is Superman's new car? And we got a Superman figure. Actually, I won't be able to turn him on the turntable. They fall over. Oh no! But what do you think? Do you like the figure in the car? Yeah. Do you think you'll uh, use it at all? Yes. Oh, I, that was... I wanted that. Never mind. The actual missile from this actually does fire quite well, as just shown by Dum Dum over here. How rude. Right. Now but... Superman's going to show you what he looks like. <laughs> He's going on a tan table. Right. But... But he doesn't spin. Yeah, hold him there. Just hold him there, because I don't want to lose the thing. So, you know how far that disc didn't go? Yes. Oh, the aim's you not have right. an aim like a donkey. Weirdo. Oh, that was ricocheted. <laughs> right, so anyway. He shot my bear. If you like this video and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. But for now, thank you very much for watching. You're being weird. Today. I know you are. For now, thank you and bye bye. Bye. And he's waving, and guess what? He's off before he gets shot in his magical flying turn table. <laughs> and you just shot me. I How know. dare you? He's trying to get back in the, underneath the house. And. Made it. And you have an in the bum. Like a donkey. I shot him in the bum.